Today I got a video for you guys talking the uh, Shakur Stevenson, uh, Dante's Boxing Nation beef. I mean, I'm looking for something to talk about today. So I just, you know, jumped on Goodfella Sports TV YouTube, or Goodfella TV YouTube. That, that guy's got talent. The guy I'm about to talk about, Deontay Boxing Nation, he ain't got no talent. Um, and so, like, I was listening to the video from Goodfella, and it was just like, you know, Shakur, I think, clapped back at Deontay, because Deontay was talking shit. And so, basically, I was like, all right, pause the video. And I was just like, I got to go to the fucking source, you know? Um, so, I just, I listened to it a little bit ago, and it's just like, Deontay's Boxing Nation's talking shit on Shakur Stevenson for giving love to uh, another top fighter that's another young guy coming up in the game who's going to be in the pound for pound list 100%. Obviously, Deontay don't know shit about boxing because that that was that was a perfectly right comment Shakur said. I mean, he's fucking Bam Rodriguez is going to be exactly like Shakur Stevenson. They do they do all the right things in boxing. They fight they they fight the next guy in line, they don't duck and they say who's next. Okay? So I'm not going to fucking take it from Deontay's Boxing Nation talking shit on Shakur Stevenson. He obviously don't know. I mean, and it's about... And then it comes down to the race thing, too. That, that's what really irritated me. He's talking about, like, he ain't black enough or some bullshit like that. And, like, oh, he's going to be out of the top ten because, you know, he's he's pushed... The, the people are going to get... No, he's not! Shakur Stevenson isn't leaving, leaving the top ten for the next ten years, goddammit. Because he's going to keep winning. What are we talking about? Deontay, it's just, he's like, well, Bim Rodriguez is going to be in the fucking... Nah, shut the fuck up. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of, like, you know, Bim Rodriguez, Shakur Stevenson's are great examples for the sport of boxing, and Deontay's Boxing Nation is trying to fucking brainwash people that he's, like, for the white man or some shit like that. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay? But you know what? Good luck to Deontay's Boxing Nation. He obviously has nothing to talk about. If he's going to talk about Shakur Stevenson, who's a goddamn grown-ass man with kids and shit, what are you doing? And you're talking about weird race things and shit and how he's not going to be top 10 pound for pound because the white man's doing... It, it's crazy. This is wild. It's 2022, I guess, right? He must need the views, though. I guess Shakur Stevenson's analytics are good because, uh, you know, he, he just must need the fucking views. He needs something to talk about, right? I don't know. It is what it is. I just kind of uh, irritated about that. And uh, I'm just going off on it, you know? I've been fucking doing YouTube videos. They put me in YouTube jail like a week ago. And I've just been fucking coming out doing videos ever since. And that's my video, guys. Shakur Stevenson's top pound for pound. Deontay's Boxing Nation. I mean, he ain't pound for pound for YouTube. I'll tell you that shit. He ain't. If you're fucking talking weird subjects like this, like... It just doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't know what's going on. And he has a lot of subs. Like, you gotta have some better content than that shit, dude. Anyways, that's it, you know. Pro black guy with the Asians and Mexicans and shit in his intro. You know, come on. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck no more. But yeah, Shakur Stevenson's gonna be around. Bam Rodriguez is gonna be around. I don't think Deontay Boxing Nation's gonna be around much longer if he keeps putting out content like this. Peace out.